I am the eternal time. I have seen the formation of this cosmos. Here I will uncover the veil of Isis, the hidden knowledge of stars, minerals, gemstones and of course human being. I killed the black raven by the sword of Moses, opened the book of deads by the keys of Solomon, summoned the ancients by the Necronomicon, down the path of Pope Alma, I am lighted in oats by the light of Vedas, presented fire to Zoroaster, knowledge to Pliny, love to Christ, greatness to Gorknath, she create to Agripak, immortality to Saint German, sword to Shivaji, illumination to Plato, sacred geometry to Kung shells and occult treasures to India. Down the path of knowledge, occult treasures welcomes you. Hello viewers, welcome to the path of light. Occult treasures. Everybody dreams something in night. Can you able to analyze your dreams? Our dreams comes true in life. Let's see it. In the phase of dream, according to Vedas, Atma resides in your uh, cardiac plexus or carotid plexus so you can dream but according to science at the first phase of sleep your brain gen generates alpha waves it comes in EEG, electroencephalography. In the first phase of sleep, alpha waves are generated. Then comes the REM sleep state. First, I will discuss NREM and REM sleep, the difference between them. At the first phase of sleep, we will go through a REM sleep. REM sleep always accompanied with a dream. Then comes NREM, non-REM sleep. That means, REM means rapid eye motion during dream your eye rotates rapidly that's why it is called REM sleep and after a REM phase comes NREM and your eyeballs become static then again REM sleep comes and this phase continues throughout the sleep cycle throughout the sleep process so it is said in our ancient literatures that what you see in dreams is a symbol of your future events in the form of a coach. Suppose you see something in dream, like you see a snake in dream. In this case, the purpose of the snake matters. Suppose the snake 
bites you in dream that means you will be healed it's a quite fortunate dream a snake is biting you so you'll be quite fortunate you will be lucky in the matters of money but why the snake is supposed to be a negative creature for people general public when bites you how can it be positive what it's positive why because small amount of poison is beneficial for health and mind it is written in our uh ayurveda that lord shiva the great god say small amount of poison is beneficial to the body and mind but excess amount of nectar sometimes kills you so when a snake bites you the logic of poison is infused within you that cures your diseases and gives you a chimney but if the snake follows you if the snake follow you during your sleep during your dream then it's a sign of a enemy following you or a enemy trying to disturb you and if the snake holds a bright gems in his hood it is a symbol that you will achieve a great power and position in your life and if the snake covers your head with its hood it is a symbol of you will achieve the topmost position in your life in a certain field so you see the attitude of snake the type of snake determines the result of the dream similarly the, the dream seen in different parts of night gives different results at different times what you dream in the first 3 hours of night say between 6 to 9 pm materializes uh within 3 months and similarly what you dream within the next 3 hours of night say between 9 to 12 materializes within sorry the first part of night first 3 three, 3 hours of night the dream materializes after one year and between 9 to 12 say the second um 3 hours of night 9 to 12 pm the dream materializes within 6 months similarly the dreams within 12 to 3 am that is the third part of night materializes within 3 months but the dreams 
which are seen within 3 to 6 am materializes very early in life. So, near uh, when your dream nears the sunrise, its materialization time decreases. So it is said that what you dream in a daytime is a fruitless dream because you dream the past, some past thing. This is the logic, the daydreams are the logic of some past event, cause of some past event. So now you can, I believe, understand dreams better.